Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're attempting to upgrade your computer to Windows 10 or perhaps a newer version of Windows 10 through the media creation utility. And it says that, sorry, we're having trouble determining if your PC can run Windows 10. Please close that up and try again. So let's just go through a couple of basic things we should make sure that you are covered with before you proceed. So in order to run Windows 10, you need to have a one gigahertz or faster processor, at least 32 gigabytes of hard drive storage space, one gigabyte of RAM, uh, display resolution should be 800 by 600 pixels or greater, and the graphics card needs to be compatible with DirectX 9 or later with WDDM 1.0 driver. So for most people that should be sufficient, but if for some reason you're still coming across this problem and you know that you do fit those hardware specs, I'm going to show you guys a quick way to hopefully resolve it, and that would be to open up the start menu, type in disk management, best match, I'll come back with create and format hard disk partitions, again if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 it might just say disk management and you want to locate the drive that you want to install Windows on so usually if you're unsure of the drive letter it should probably be the biggest one here so please note 14 gigabytes is bigger than 211 megabytes so just take note of the units being measured here and you can also open up File Explorer and then just go underneath this PC on the left side and then whatever disk the little Windows icon is above is where Windows is currently installed and I imagine it's probably where you're going to want to upgrade your computer to and put Windows once again for most people so unless you're dual booting Windows but I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys are not looking to do that so all you have to do is just right click on the drive and then select mark partition as active it says only mark a partition as active if it contains a functioning operating system. If the partition lacks an operating system, marking it active may cause your computer to stop working. Do you want to continue? We already confirmed that the C drive is my drive that Windows is installed on. And if you're really unsure, just double check like I said and just confirm that and then select yes. And that's pretty much it guys. Attempt to run the utility once again and the error should no longer be present. So. Pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.